Telcos are a media platform, not a pipeline. So traditionally, telecoms businesses have been the companies that provide the infrastructure for content. Now we're starting to see them becoming the content producers. So a great example is BT Sport in the UK, BT being the biggest telecoms company in the UK, now the biggest content producer for sports, football, rugby, all these kind of things. So we're seeing telecoms companies really moving into the content production space. And if you look at the three kind of parts of, you know, they have the, the production of creating it, the platform where it goes on, and actually the pipeline to get it, be able to get it through to the consumers and to the people, that's interesting because essentially the guys with the pipeline are actually starting to become the producers. Yeah. And that whole shift is actually eliminating or putting a big threat to traditional media models and media businesses. Yeah. And so obviously within the New Zealand ecosystem, the biggest in that with the last 12 months has obviously been the uh, Vodafone's acquisition of Sky. Right. Now essentially that was, you know, a pipeline buying a, 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 a platform and a, and a publisher really so yeah. um, I, I think we need to look more into that because the question you know could be asked very clearly is you know if and I've written about it before you know if if a telco bought the All Blacks rights right would everyone still buy Sky yeah and some people still would but you know a lot of them would actually drop off for that so it's a it's a really interesting time seeing what traditionally has been about just data yeah pumping through actually becoming the producers of that content as well. Yeah, yeah. Very, very interesting. Get in the data game. It's good stuff. <laughs>